So let's name these transition metal uh, polyatomic ion complexes, okay? So, um, well, how do we go about doing this? Well, remember, transition metals, we don't know what their charge is because they have very variable charges. So we have to um, do it by inference of what the charge of the polyatomic ion is. Is everybody okay with that? So in order to do these, if you don't know the charge of your polyatomic ion, you're kind of up a creek, you know? So you gotta remember these charges. So I only gave you a list of, I think, maybe less than 10, I think, polyatomics for the first exam for you guys to memorize. So please go ahead and do that. Um, but a few of those are listed here. So. Um, I'll just go through this one myself, so you guys don't have to remember them right now, but it'll be better before the weekend's over. So, um, the cyanide group is Cn minus, so it only has a one minus charge, okay? So, when, here, okay, let's put this in here. So, if we've got two of them, right, then that, that must mean there's two minus charges. Is everybody okay with that form of logic? So that means to counterbalance, zinc must have a plus two charge, right, or a two plus charge. So since that's the case, and zinc's a transition metal, we call it zinc two. Is everybody okay with that? So zinc, and then two is the Roman numerals. Okay, zinc two, cyan. So you just put the name of the polyatomic. Okay. Is everybody okay with doing that one? So, same thing here. The sulfate anion, SO4, two minus. two minus. Okay, so two times two minus is four minus, right? So this is gonna be titanium four sulfate. Okay, so uh, mercury is the, so if you didn't know, HG is mercury, because so that's one that, that you might want to remember. Mercury is a transition metal, so um, sulfur has a regular charge. We should all know that by now. If we look up there, it's minus two, right? So here it's saying it's taking two mercuries to counterbalance that charge. So what would it be? Mercury what? Can anybody tell me one? One, right? Mercury one, okay? So, why? Because this is gonna be S two minus. So we have to have something like that, okay? Is everybody okay with that? Is that sulfide? And this particular one is gonna be a sulfide, okay? Why do we change the end? Because it's not a polyatomic ion. On, on those regular um, anions, we drop the ending, the, the suffix, and put our new suffix, IDE, to indicate that it's now a anion as opposed to the atom itself. Okay? And acetate down here has a minus one charge. Okay? So this whole thing is the polyatomic, right? So that thing has a minus one, two of them, so it's minus two overall. This one's copper, if you didn't know. Okay, so copper to acetate. What you guys will learn uh, 
for the next exam is that HG2 um, 2 plus is actually another polyatomic ion that I want you to remember. It's the mercury one ion. Okay. 